Hey there, CPO here, and I uh, just want to talk to you real quick about checking the main shaft and the feathering shaft to make sure that they're not bent. So on the main shaft here, you can see I'm just rolling it back and forth on a glass surface, something that's uh, smooth and flat, and you're looking for wobble or vibration as you roll it. And as you can see here, I'm just using a kitchen scale uh, that has a nice flat uh, glass surface. I also liked uh, to slip it inside the uh, bearing blocks again and then spin it by hand and just make sure that I don't see any wobble in the uh, in the shaft at all and uh, this also is a good way to check the bearings to make sure that they're still in good shape still smooth no grinding uh, after the crash so you can take it you can flip it over make sure you check both sides uh, and just just give it a good check and make sure but I feel pretty confident that this main shaft is still in good shape so as far as the feathering shaft goes, uh, one easy way to tell if it is bent is uh, before you disassemble the head and take the feathering shaft out, just stick a uh, hex driver onto one end and uh, while holding it, uh, turn the hex driver and basically you'll see how the, uh, the two blade grip ball links will move in relation to one another. If they're moving like that, that means that the feathering shaft is bent. Actually, read about this uh, over at RC Help, uh, the forums there where Lee, I think, was posting a uh, uh, crash uh, thread on what to look for after a crash, and he shared this, uh, and I thought it was a really cool way to check it out. Uh, made perfect sense, and as you can see, uh, really does indicate that I have a bent feathering shaft. Of course, just like we did with the main shaft, we can also put the feathering shaft onto that flat glass surface and you can really see how that thing wobbles. Uh, pretty easy to tell that that is bent. Uh, so if the, uh, if the first trick I showed you doesn't make it obvious, uh, then the solution is to also uh, use this, uh, this flat uh, rolling on glass method. So uh, definitely we'll be getting a new feathering shaft for this helicopter. Uh, no way around.